Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. Just got moved over to Mama Bear RV Park in Capitan, New Mexico, and just wanted to do a quick video uh, related to a comment that somebody left. But anyway, yeah, I moved over here. I'll do a video about my spot and stuff later on while I'm here, and you'll get to see what this looks like. But anyway, the, the person, th this comment has come up several times, several. So maybe if I do a video, rather than just respond to the comment, uh, maybe it will answer a more than just one person's question because I've had this question many times. The commenter's name is Poster Mark. He says, just curious about your property. And what he's referring to is my property in Kingsland, Texas, or near Kingsland, Texas. I have a home base in Central Texas and I also have a home base now in Capitan. But anyway, he says, does it have electric and water hookup, but no house? And does the local government give you any grief for living in RV on your property? Does it have electric and water hookups? Yes, and no house. There's no house there. I just have an RV. Well, actually, I have a slab, a concrete slab, with an aluminum cover, and then with all the hookups. And, but no house. And uh, never has been a house there. And uh, anyway, so, and does the local government give me any grief? Never have. I've been there, oh, let's see, I'm going to guess uh, 15 years, probably, I've had that property in that range. And he says, I really like the simplicity of your setup. And how do you secure that open carport, etc., when you decide to boondock somewhere? Well, see, I'm not, I'm not worried about security. I don't have anything. Everything I have is in the RV. I mean, everything I have is either in my truck or in my RV. That's it. The only thing that's at the property when I leave in Kingsland, Texas, there's like two boxes of stuff that if somebody stole, I, I wouldn't even know what it was. Okay. So that's how you beat the security issue. If you don't have anything, nobody can steal anything from you. And it's the same way here in Capitan on my lot here. There's nothing there. Okay, when I pull out in my RV, there's nothing there. Nothing. It, it, everything I've got is in my vehicle and in my uh, Casita RV. Now see, what I've, I've got a camper top on the back of my truck. And so I've got tools in there and a jack and a lot of miscellaneous stuff an extension card, an extra garden hose, or water hose, <clears throat> and a lot of things that I don't use frequently, but they're there. And if I left those at either uh, home base, yeah, you're right, they'd probably be stolen. But, you know, for, for you, you guys that live in big cities, you're not used to a rural lifestyle or a small town lifestyle. Now, that doesn't mean that we're immune to thieves but it just means that because of the limited population in those areas, uh, you know, if you have a million people in a city and 5% of them are, will steal, or 10%, whatever, maybe they all will, but let's just assume 10%, then you've got 100,000 people that are potential thieves. In my area of Central Texas, the whole area around where I live might be 20,000 people. Well, 10%, of that's 200, and then you spread that over several hundred square miles of Mother Earth and your chances of being robbed are very slim. And besides that, you know, I don't know of many thieves that di drive around looking for uh, carports that are vacant to go over and steal stuff from. You know, they're looking at the homes and stuff like that. But having said that, just thought I'd put that to rest at that, uh, yeah, the uh, security of the property is not an issue with me at all and it wouldn't be with anyone. Just don't leave anything there. That's it. Now, if you're going to drive off and have a little storage building that's got a few thousand dollars worth of tools and stuff in it. Well, good luck with that. But I don't. I don't have any of that stuff. And as far as the electric and water hookups, but no house, uh, causing a problem with the local authorities, all you got to do is check and find out what the rules are. And you know going in. You know, uh, it, it's okay in my area, in Texas and here. It, well, here in uh, Capitan, they say that, you know, if you, if you uh, hook up to the water and the electric, uh, that you you can only be on the property for six months and what they're trying to avoid there They don't want people living in old dumpy RVs uh, In these little sit on these little city lots because what would happen it never mind you, you know what would happen uh, you, You'd have a lot of people moving their old junk RV on there live there for a few months and then go off and leave the junk There for the city to clean up and they don't want that and I, and I don't blame them at all and so yeah, but I won't be here 
for four or five months a year anyway in, in Capitan, New Mexico because it's going to be my summer home base. You know, today, you know, they're complaining about the heat here because it's 88 degrees, it's going to be 88 degrees today. Well, let me say this, at my home base in Central Texas, near Kingsland, Texas, it's going to be 103, and it's got three to ten times, or excuse me, uh, the humidity here will be 10% and the humidity there will be 30 to 50, depending on if there's rain around or not. It makes all the difference in the world. But having said that, just wanted to give you a quick heads up, guys. Yeah, don't worry. If you're going to get you a, 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 a RV home base, uh, you know, all you do is just check with the county or city and say, you know, I'm looking at this lot and is it okay to put an RV on it for a few months a year? Or if you're going to live there, ask them if you can live on it, you know, because they'll tell you they're not. In some places you can, in some places you can't. There is no general rule, none. I have found that no matter where you are and no matter what state, the guidelines are always different and it applies to a lot of different things. But having said that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Put a smile on your face. Uh, buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it'll allow me to buy a Gildan shirt. Anyway, no, I get a small commission, doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Do that several times a day. Why? Because it relieves stress. Relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Check it out. And what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Uh, you know, I've, I've done my stretches today. I will go walk in here in a little bit. And, uh, of course, you know, setting up the RV and taking it down and all that's a little bit of exercise. So, anyway, uh, having said that, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lo lobes, lobes, lobes. <laughs> this is your where your consciousness is. So, you know, add good ingredients. You know what I mean? You know, eliminate, you know, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative and enjoy your life one day at a time. Thank you for your comment, and I hope that puts that issue to rest for a long time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Carry on.